did it. What is up guys, it's BMC, we back again today. We're going over loops, how I flip them, which effects I use, how to determine the pitch of those loops, all that and more, stay tuned. All right guys, I got a new project opened up here in FL Studio. I'm gonna go first and find a loop that I wanna use for this project. So let's go and find that right now. All right, guys, this is the loop that I'm gonna use. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is get this loop time stretched properly. There's multiple ways of doing this. The easiest way that I like to do is just double click it, go to this time stretching knob and then stretch it out however, however long you want. I'm gonna bring it to here and let's just see how that sounds. As you can tell, it doesn't sound the same anymore because we have the mode here on resample. It's actually when you stretch it, it's changing the key of the, the loop. So what you want to do to get it back to how it was is just go to this tab here and click auto and it's going to change the loop back to its original sound. Okay, now to find the key of the sample, there's multiple ways that you can do it as well. I'll do the two free versions what you want to do is just double click on this right click this wave file here and go to edit and pitch corrector it's going to bring up new tone and it's going to show you it's going to map out pretty much all the keys here that is playing so we could tell right off the bat there's a d in there there's a uh, f in there and there's a g in there the easy way to do this is just go to this scissor tool right here at the top click it and go to scale and it's going to show you that it's in D minor. It will automatically show you which scale it's in. This works 90% of the time, but sometimes it does not work. Another way you can do it is left click or sorry. Yeah. Left click twice, right click on the wave file and you want to go to edit in audio editor. It's going to pull up Edison and you're going to hit this uh, marker right here and go to detect pitch regions. So from here, you can literally just go onto the piano roll put in a D, put in an F, put in a G, and it's probably gonna sound good. So let's just do that right now, actually. F and G. Once we find our chords, all the work is pretty much done. Now I have my root note and everything. So. Another cool thing that you can do to your loops to change up the, uh, the variation without changing it too much is to create a different version of that loop. So what you can do is uh, you can left click on this wave file here and you can make it unique. And now we're just going to double click it and whatever I do to this sample will not affect this sample at all. And I'm just going to pitch it down 12 semitones. Let's hear how that sounds. So that would be cool for like the verse or something. This would be cool for the hook. So now we got two parts off of one loop. guys step two would be to chop up these loops or to rearrange it so it sounds a little bit different so another thing that you guys can do is open this up in slicer so right click and open a new fruity slicer channel and what i like to do here is go to the slicer tool and go to one of these settings i usually use beat so what this does is it breaks up your sample into chops pretty much Let's go in here, add some drums and just finish off this beat real quick.
All right, guys, that is it for the video. I'm about to play this beat for you guys. Please, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything, leave some love in the comments below. I truly do appreciate you guys all. I can't tell you enough. Thank you, thank you for all the love that I've been receiving, all the messages I get. I appreciate all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. And without too much talking, I'm gonna show you guys this beat. Till next time, guys. Peace.